Hey what's up everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Danny aka Danny Portraits and I've been missing for quite a while now but hopefully I'm back into the YouTube game and today we're going through an editing breakdown from a self-portrait I just took last month in my bathroom so I thought this could be interesting because this was my most liked photo last month so without further ado let's dive into Photoshop and see how the editing part looks like. All right, so we're here in Photoshop. This was the first picture I took where I was looking away and I also wanted to go for a horror kind of look. So this is why I chose to make a teal kind of color. And this was only one tube light up here, as you can see on top and mounted with some tape, as you can see up here, the yellow thing is tape. And I also used an aperture LED light on the left top side here to get some nice skin tones, I would say. So I don't get the spill of the tea look here or of the tea color. And then I just added another shot here and masked it out. As you can see, this is the mask. So I can see myself here in the mirror with another look. Then I tried to erase that Godox light. Yeah, I thought this light would look cooler in frame, but I forgot about the tape. So I tried to bone stamp it away um, on another layer here. And this was the composition. I also made some clean plates, but I didn't end up using it because I didn't like it somehow. So because the lighting was not here and it looks kind of weird so that's why I went for the composition and tried to clone stamp this away. So next step was using frequency separation for this upper part here because it was not as clean as I wanted to be. As you can see I just tried to clean up the colors up here because I had some weird shadows going on and uh, some different lighting and stuff so I frequency separated away. Also added some lines. Um, this is actually just painted in with the color using a brush. Then I added another line here, actually. This was colored. And this was the line. So to give it more of that structure back. And this was this part up here, as you can see. Um, not as clean, but you won't even notice if you only see the edit at the end. And next part is of course skin retouching. Um, everyone needs that. So this is the cleanup. I didn't, did, didn't do too much. Just cleaning up some little pimples here, here and there. Then uh, adding some local dodge and burn. As you can see, just cleaning up the mess here in my face and also in my mirror face. Then I just did some global dodge and burn. As you can see, I just lost the, the jawline kinda so I brought it back using global dodge and burn here as you can see uh, let's do it before and after again bringing also back that line up here so I look a lot more angry or uh, I don't know <laughs> what look it, it is all right next part is very important is the coloring part so I started off with a contouring curve layer to add some contrast here then I added another curves layer with the green and blue channel to add some greenness and blueness. As you can see, I added some green tones here in the mid tones and the highlights just to make it more horror feeling like it was too red. So this is what is changed. And then I played with one selective color layer here, changing up the greens and also cyans in the background and blues before and after adding some more green tint and then I just played around with blues I guess not that much oh this is maybe empty yeah I didn't do anything here so this was already enough for me in terms of colors next thing is adding a curves layer to make the background a little bit darker because I mean the whole picture is kind of bright so just brought down the environment here with a curves layer and masking out myself. So I just bring down the colors or the luminosity actually from the background. Then I added some brightness to my mirror because I was kind of dark and I lost some contrast here. So I added another curves layer to add some contrast back to myself here, making those shadows a little bit darker. 
then uh, I usually like to use a color lockup. This is just a Adobe two strip look or LUT. This adds some peachiness to the skin, not too much. And this hue saturation layer is for actually eye whitening. So check this out. This, these are the eye whites. Not too much here. All right, guys, next steps are <laughs> kind of chaotic. I just tried to name everything here. Just make it a little bit easier to follow up for you guys. So um, first thing I did here is some raw adjustment, uh, adding some brightness back. So the whole image was kind of dark. So we can actually disable all the layers underneath. We don't need that anymore. And then I just played around with the drawer, I think you call it in uh, English, because this line was kind of um, tilted. I don't know why. So I don't like that. I just brought it back and also brought back some shadows here by using the mixer brush tool. It's also up here, as you can see before and after and those two together looks like that. So this bothered me a little bit, that um, kind of tilted line. Let's close this and next thing was blur. So I added some blur here and even more blur with the Gaussian blur. Oh, I actually get rid of that line, I don't know why. Oh, okay. I don't know why I blurred this out and then, and then I just draw it in. Sometimes I don't even know why I'm doing stuff, but Oh, I, I just added another really sharp line. So that, that makes that makes kind of sense. I don't know why. Sometimes I don't, I don't know, man. Um, this is the glass line. So this one and also this one to make it a little bit thicker. This is also, these are two empty layers where I just brushed over with a color, probably matching this color over here. And then I just added some vibrancy using a camera raw filter again. As you can see, just adding some blue tints overall to the image like that because the green tint was kind of too greenish. So I added some blues and then I added a bloom. So uh, this is an action from Liquid Verve actually. So um, you can get it from the Liquid Verve 3.0 actions, which just blooms out the whole highlights or actually which part you want. Um, there are also other ways to do it. I can also make a video about that if you're interested. Then I got rid of my nose redness. Somehow my nose was kind of red, so on both sides. So I fixed that using a selective color layer here, adding some signs, getting rid of some magentas and adding some yellows, which brought back my actual skin tone for the nose to match my overall skin tone okay so next thing was my nose line was kind of uh, weird here so i got rid of that with i think with a healing brush tool on an empty layer again this is why i got so many layers here and then i just brought down the overall background brightness again because this was too bright again so this is the mood i wanted to go for and also I saw this weird line, which was already in the raw file. So I thought I messed up, but I can show you this. This line was already here. So, so I tried to fix it with a curve layer again. You see, I use a lot of curves layers. So this is how I fixed it. I just um, used a curve, raising up the shadows a little bit and then mask it out by hand. So next thing is adding another selective color layer with some blue tones, shifting those greens to more blues or those cyans actually. Adding some cyans, um, adding some magentas and get rid of some yellows, which is adding blues. All right, next two layers are just uh, vibrancy, add some vibrance here and some brightness to the overall image. And uh, this is the after, so. Let's check before and after. And this was the whole editing process actually from this image. So I hope you enjoyed this little on fast breakdown. I hope you could follow up with my stuff here. It's kind of chaotic at the end, but I tried to label everything so you can see it. And if you have any further questions, just let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you want to know <laughs> also, let me know if you want to see something or learn something specific so I can make some videos about it. And hopefully I will see you on YouTube more often. So peace out and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Peace.